Uh, guys, I am back as promised with Kian, or Prince Kian, to give him his full title. Now, as you can see right off the bat, he's not your ordinary lycanthrope. Oh, spoilers by the way. Uh, his first introduction, you know, we are first introduced to him in Were Inc. Uh, Uncaged. As you can see here, he's uh, unique to say the least. Now, I will say his arm that you can see there as a, um, a plasma rifle, that's not his go-to. His actual arm is just your basic, generic, run-of-the-mill cybernetic arm. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> run-of-the-mill cybernetic. Um, he was a willing subject, a test matter, if you will, uh, for bonding with parasites or with symbiotic uh, life forms like Project Mortal. He lost his entire right arm and his, rec his right pectoral muscle uh, through the bonding process and his right eye. Now they were replaced with cybernetics, ego level cybernetics, cybernetics, sorry. Um, he has a slight modification with very minimalistic nanomachines, as in by now they're outdated. So he's able to reshape his arm into almost anything actually as long as he has pre-programmed his chest device to realign it. Um, his arm is basically fully functional but it can redesign itself into specific things that he programs into his chest panel. His right eye acts very similar to the wear ink visualizer which I'll come to at a later time. Um, right now he's wearing a battle armor in his chest uh, piece. That's not his actual body, that's just armor. Uh, it's his, uh, here too is just another guard for his arm. Um, he, as you can see he's holding a rapier, uh, like a, a fencing saber. Now this is not his go-to weapon. This is the weapon he uses or used back in the golden age of Eru, when he, he and his brothers were um, very much the trinity, the holy trio as it were. They were the ones who held order. They were the ones who guaranteed safety in Eru. Uh, the enforcers were created by Prince Mihol, uh, his younger brother, uh, and it was he who actually founded the law enforcement in Eru, and it was governed by him, but essentially his brothers took uh, arms up and went by his side. Uh, the, the, the fencing saber, or the rapier, was seen as a very elegant weapon, a very uh, um, honourable weapon to hold or to behold um, enemies at bay, to deliver the killing blow quickly if necessary. You know, all, all of this stuff. It was done more of less brutality and more mercy was the kind of thing they were going for. But circumstances changed and the golden age came to an end when their father, Fionn, was murdered. So there you go. Um, as you can see now too, well, you haven't seen the other brothers just yet, but you get the idea from his basic appearance he does tend to get the appearance of a kind of an elegant, roguish kind of character. Um, very difficult to trust someone with, who has a, <laughs> looks like this. Even without the plasma rifle arm, it would look rather unique to trust someone who has a mechanical eye, like the Terminator, kind of looking down on you. So now he's not exactly the tallest either. He's only five nine, five ten. So. Pretty, pretty tall still, but in terms of his brothers, he's the shortest of a lot of them. Uh, with Mihal being six foot, six foot one, and Kian being six foot five. So, you know, he's not really, even build wise, he's not quite as chunky or husky or, 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 or muscular as his, as his other brothers. He is, however, one of the most intellectual beings in Iru. What he lacks in muscle, he gained in an intellect which many believe, myself included, any war battle fight is won before the first punch is thrown. 
if you know your enemy, you already have to fight one. It's just a matter of getting, just achieving your goal, or your plan, which can be done with intellect. Education is everything, people. I say that all along. I'll say it until the day I die. Um, he, however, I'm not going to give a lot away in this one, but uh, in the confines of Wearing Gun Cage, the first book in the Eero Saga series, we meet him in a. Oh, that won't give. We, we meet him in an air, uh, a wearing facility in a gelatinous chamber. Gelatinous chamber where he is actually resting and regenerating, possibly from injuries. We, that wasn't specif specified. Specified. So that is unknown. What is known is he was a willing participant in the Project Mortal bonding experiments. What he was trying to do, bonding with them, we don't know. That has yet to be determined. But for now, guys, that right there or there is Prince Kian of the Eero Saga. I will see you guys in the next video. Not sure what it is yet, but...